What's up, everyone? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah! And we're going back to the world of weird. Yes, indeed! Ha <laughs> ha! She-Hulk. Number 34. Oh, damn. Damn, baby, I'd never accuse you of vanity. Mm, and if you love Kurt, uh, the controversy, then hook up with the outlaw. Yeah! Damn. Who's the artist on this? I gotta research this. Anyways, this picks up with the last issue left off. Where Weeze and uh, She-Hulk are getting some sun in the fun. And yes, that's Weeze after a transformation in a crystal bath from the Mole Man. You gotta check out the last issue to see what I'm talking about. Anyways, someone comes up to her asking uh, if this is Miss Walters. And of course, she says there's no other seven-foot green Hulk-like giant beauties in the sand. But uh, yes, they're summoned back to the Big Apple. And wondering what's going on and why they had to interrupt the fun in the sun. And that's what I'm saying. Why? Why did you have to take me away from that? But the lawyer kind of lays out, you know, that uh, someone's been murdered. And of course, you know, it's out of revenge. And the interesting thing was is that it was a corpse. Yes, a corpse. An eight-year-old corpse came out and murdered this person out of nowhere. And just kind of set himself down and rotted away. Meanwhile, Jen kind of has a nightmare for a minute. Kind of wondering if zombies are still approved by the comic code. Of course, she decides to call Weeze. And Weeze kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit and says, Of course, zombies have been approved by the comic book code for a while now. It's not like the old days where they blocked out everything. This isn't the 50s, after all. Anyways, they have to go to New Orleans to kind of investigate this corpse. Because that's where it came from, oddly enough. And so they hit New Orleans, and it is empty. And that is a weird thing for this time of year. Usually New Orleans is packed with good time seekers and uh, women with nice heaters, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, they pull up to this creepy old house, and of course it has to be a creepy old house. And her and Weeds begin to walk up the stairs, and yes, like all creepy houses, this has a second level. And this second level also has a long hallway with many doors. And they walk into this one and they find all kinds of voodoo stuff. Now, this should have been a red flag right here and now. But they need this guy's help. So this guy introduces himself. His name's David. Samuel David. And, uh, yeah, this is his sidekick, his stooge, his number two, the guy that does all the dirty work. They begin to explain that it was a corpse in New York that ended up murdering this guy. And uh, he kind of gets a little coy when they give the name, you know, DeCosta, like... Like, he's trying to ham it off into something else, you know, trying to make sure that it wasn't anything that had to do with him, of course. But, meanwhile, in this alternate future where men and women are apparently big, muscular, and sexy as hell, are equals. And this one guy wants men to be the masters and blah, blah, blah. So he has a scientist who's inventing a machine so he can go back, back in time. And make sure that this reality never happens where men and women are equals. God, he's butt ugly. Man, he must have fell down the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. And then smacked right into a rock on the ground. Whew. Ugh. Ooh, she hawks back. Anyways, uh, they're going to a graveyard because, of course, this guy says that he knows the corpse. And uh, they go to his coffin. The reason a lot of these coffins are up is because... Uh, things tend to flood in New Orleans, so they kind of build these mausoleums, these cement tops, so the coffins don't go floating around. And they find out that he's not there. She-Hulk's realizing this guy's in on it, but before she could do anything, he throws a necklace on her. And they capture, well, yes, he, they throw a necklace on her. Let me say that again. And he puts on his costume, and he becomes Super Chicken. No, just kidding. He becomes the Black Talon. Stereotyping anyone. Anyways. He takes her to a cargo hood on a ship, and uh, he's using her power in order to get what he needs. Something very valuable. Something that was shipped back to him, and something that he's going to use again in his criminal plots as the Black Talon. Jesus. Anyways, She-Hulk jumps in. She uh, breaks the perishable box, and out pops a coffin. Surprise, surprise. It was going to be a coffin. I thought there was going to be zombies in this. Anyways. Of course, he commands her to bring the coffin back. Weeze is tied up with this guy kind of just standing there as a mindless sentry. Weeze kind of tells She-Hulk to snap out of it, but the necklace is doing its magic. 
Apparently, She-Hulk is not immune to certain kinds of magic, especially stupid voodoo magic by a man in a chicken suit. Anyways, they throw in the coffin. They put over the dirt. A small twig ends up snapping the fragile necklace. You'd think he would have used something a bit stronger, but no. She-Hulk pops out of it, and she is pissed. Yes, She-Hulk is pissed, and so am I for taking her off the beach for this stupid mission. Anyway, she grabs onto the black talon and is about to lay the smack down on him. His stooge comes out of nowhere and gives her a knuckle sandwich, and this just pisses She-Hulk off. And it pisses me off, too. We should be watching her on the beach playing volleyball, but oh, no. No, no, no. And She-Hulk just lays in. Give him one for me, darling. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. She just kicks the ever-loving crap out of him. I mean, She-Hulk's a vet at this point. She's been a member of the Avengers, the Fantastic Four. She knows her way around a good Donnybrook. Anyway, she beats the ever-loving crap out of this guy. Cartoon style, ba ba bam 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 And she knocks him out to the next issue. <laughs> yeah, I love how Jen breaks the fourth wall. So naughty. But what is the scheme of these characters? What's with all these zombies? And will Black Talon actually come up with a better plan? Well, I guess we'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.